welcome to another interesting episode of daily bread today in this video i would like to share something that touched my heart and i believe it's a word for us it can help us to maximize our lives the truth is many of us are not without potentials yet not everyone is able to maximize the capacity that god has put in each one of us it is not enough to be gifted it is not enough to have capacity it is important that we are able to produce results commensurate with our innate ability. In this video, I'd like to share with us something that should really challenge us towards greater productivity, towards effectiveness in our lives, in our businesses, in everything we are committed to. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? I want us to quickly read from the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 12 and I will read verse 1 and verse 2. See what the Bible says. Now, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house, which has eyes to see, but does not see, and ears to hear, but does not hear, for they are a rebellious house. If we emphasize on that verse 2, it says, Son of man, just like you are also hearing this word now, you could be a woman, just get the word. It says, Son of man, you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house. Change that rebellious house to a rebellious rebellious generation. You could also call it a rebellious century. I want us to learn something that God was instructing Ezekiel as it concerns us in this generation. He says, which has eyes to see, but does not see, and ears to hear, but does not hear. For this is a rebellious house. The challenge for that particular generation which could also become a challenge for our generation is not lack of eyes to see or lack of ears to hear they add the two the two important instruments for receiving instruction for getting ideas for getting inspiration for knowing what to do and knowing how to do it however in spite of the capacity they had in spite of their ability they refused to do they refused to respond to their abilities so we could say they were irresponsible and so God called them a rebellious generation a rebellious house and it's important for us to note also it's one thing for you to lack resources that you need to carry out your plans your vision your intentions another thing is you have the resources yet you don't do anything so what do you blame who do you blame you wouldn't blame god god has given you everything i remember that place in the bible in the book of second peter chapter one if you read it from verse one to verse three god was also speaking to a generation through his servant peter and the word was simple he says all things that pertains to life and godliness have been freely given to us but we have access to them through the knowledge of the lord jesus christ so for this particular generation in ezekiel everything they needed all the things they required to be productive to know the will of god for them and to do it everything they needed to learn the owl to carry out the plans of God in their time, all the things they needed, they had yet they did not produce yet they did not live the kind of life or produce the kind of result that was commensurate with the potentials that they had and so the challenge for us today is to look actually within ourselves and ask the question is there anything that i need to succeed that i lack now if you take an inventory of your life of your strength you do a kind of a SWOT analysis you would realize that the things you need to succeed you have the things you need to make an ends meet to earn a living you have all the things you need to know the will of god for your life you have beyond having eyes to see having ears to hear having hands to carry things or to walk having legs to walk and to move around the things you need having the brain having the mind that is sound having a body that is healthy 
These are things that we need to succeed. These are things we need to connect with more people. These are things we need to become great and we have them. Now, we will become rebellious actually when we refuse to use the things we have to achieve the things that God expects us to achieve. Rebellion in our contest, in our century, is when God gives us something to use and we refuse to use it. Refusing to do the needful, refusing to use the talents that are in you, refusing to respond to your innate abilities in solving the problems around you the problems of this generation is rebellion and it's a sin and i don't think you want any sin to hang on your neck at such a time as this this is the challenge in this video the rebellion in our generation is when we have things to use and we refuse to use them rebellion in our generation is when we have the opportunities to maximize the potentials that god has given to us and we refuse to maximize them we rather settle for the status quo the norm we just want a cool calm and collected life we don't want to stay any waters we don't want to challenge ourselves we don't want to stretch that is rebellion and that is us sinning against God. I pray that the Lord will help us this day to make the best use of the gifts of God, of the grace of God, that God has blessed us with. And we will produce results and we will succeed today in Jesus' name. My name is Boy Gadiriji. I hope to connect with you again on this same channel on another episode of Daily Bread Today. To that time, yield yourself to God. Be productive. Use the things you have to get the job done in the name of God. God bless you.